I'm Troy Dawson, and a disclaimer before I start. This is my best effort. It is possible that I've gotten things wrong, at least on the history part, but as far as what I know, I, I've done the best effort. For things in the future, things change. There have been times where we've had conferences and then things changed literally the next week. Uh, this is my best faith, my best effort, and if things change suddenly and I got the past wrong, I'm pretty sure some of you in, my, in this room will correct me on my past. <laughs> but on the future, I apologize. Okay, why am I giving this talk? Why am I an expert to give this talk? Uh, I've been doing operating systems since 2001. Started with Fermi Linux for Fermilab. Uh, I worked with Connie Sai on that. Uh, that was always fun. Um, I was one of the original founders of Scientific Linux, uh, with Connie was the other, and that was, that was great fun until, uh, anyway, and then I got hired by, <laughs> got hired by Red Hat. Um, I worked on OpenShift when I got hired by Red Hat back when it was oh, just a tiny 10-man Thing. When it was just a cartridge. When it was just a cartridge. <laughs> oh, I think it was before that. It was, uh, anyway, um, I, I did not do operating systems for two whole years, and I purposely did that to see if, you know, sometimes you, do, you work on things for a while, and then you think you love it, but then when you stop, you go, oh, I didn't really love it. So I purposely didn't do it for two years, and found that I was just going nuts. I wanted to do it. So I created Your Linux. Um, you know, that's where this logo came from. And I did it for a few years. That was based off of RHEL 7. And uh, I, after two, two years, I had either officially uh, uh, produce it or drop it. And I had two users. I was one of them. And uh, a guy who was actually a Windows guy that's trying things out was the other. I figured, time to drop it. Okay, after OpenShift, I was lucky enough to get put on the RHEL 8 team, and I was excited. So I've been doing RHEL, building RHEL since RHEL 8. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So that started in 2017. Uh, when CentOS Stream came, I was uh, put on that team. I do not do CentOS Linux, I do CentOS Stream. There is a difference, uh, those of you in the audience, many of you know that. That's a totally different subject. Okay, so that's why you should listen to me. Now, let's see what I say. Okay. In the beginning, there was RHEL 3. Now, actually, there was RHEL 2.1, but we're not going to worry about that. It wasn't controversial. Uh, RHEL 3 was when Red Hat stopped with Red Hat Linux, not Red Hat Enterprise Linux, all their binaries were, were on their ftp.redhat.com. It was wonderful. It was glorious, and they didn't make any money and were going downhill. Well, maybe not going downhill, but they weren't making money. Uh, so they put all their baskets on Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and they did not give away those binaries for free. But they did continue to do the source. So we're not worrying about the source. We're talking about the environment. Um, but when they did that, the clones came out. <coughs> this was the first clone, not wars, but the, but the first clones. There was White Box, there was Scientific Linux, yay! There was Tal Linux, and there was CentOS and others. Um, but one of the other things was Red Hat's build environment was completely closed. Uh, as a scientific Linux maintainer, basically we started with Red Hat Linux 9, took all of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3 things and recompiled them. There was nothing fancy, there was no change root, uh, although there wasn't, uh, the machine that did it was dedicated and nobody else could get on it and security and all that stuff, but we didn't do change roots and stuff back then. Oh, scary. Ooh, sorry, don't be running Scientific Linux 3, just as a, <laughs> it's out of date. Please don't run Scientific Linux 3 now. Yeah. <laughs> Was that how RHEL did it? I have no idea. I've worked at Red Hat for 11 years. I still don't know how, if, how RHEL 3 was built. 
Does anyone know? I don't know. I don't know the person Maybe. to find out. We should ask Matt Wilson. Yeah? Or, okay. um, or um, Peter Jones. He was around during that time. Okay. We'll, we'll ask them, but not today. <laughs> um, so Ralph 4 and 5, I titled this Setting New Standards. During this time frame, Fedora was established and they started doing things. Uh, Ralph 5 was the first one based off of Fedora and it was based off Fedora Core 6. I'm not going to get into the core and extras and stuff, but that was the first one based off of Fedora. Uh, the Koji build environment was started um, and it's still being used today. Uh, but if you're outside of Red Hat, completely closed. Um, we had to, <laughs> uh oh, I'm seeing people laugh. Uh, we might be using that somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, RHEL 4 and 5, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, for the RHEL, RHEL clones, we started building our own stuff at this point. Uh, CentOS built their, their own thing, but it was also completely. Uh, behind things. Scientific Linux, we tried to open our stuff and our management said, no, you cannot. Um, so we couldn't. So anyway, so it wasn't just RHEL that was being closed at the time. So 6 and 7, uh, things were, were <coughs> progressing pretty good. RHEL 6 was based off Fedora 10, 11, 12. RHEL 7 was based off Fedora 18 and 19. And even though I read, worked for Red Hat at that time, uh, I still had to, I, I tracked down, let's see, this package was built off of this and this is built off of that. Um, oh, that's right, Brew, uh, Red Hat, uh, Red Hat's internal Koji is named Brew. And that was happening around six and seven, early six and seven. Um, during that time, CentOS is, I'm putting acquired because the what? trademark was, for sure. The trademark was definitely acquired <laughs> by Red Hat, and they Somehow. hired m most, if not all, of the main developers. Anyway, CentOS came into Red Hat. Equihire. Yeah. Um, but this build environment was still closed. At that time, the CentOS people can talk to the Red Hat people. They both had to have closed systems, and it was closed out to the public. It was, it was weird. Okay. Here's where I have, I am more authoritative on. Uh, RHEL 8, uh, I was part of the team, I'm on the emerging RHEL team. Uh, during this time, RHEL 8, we had at least four different names. Uh, we didn't have a good name until RHEL 9. But we did the thing, we basically took Fedora and brought it into RHEL, directly into RHEL. CentOS Stream was not a thing at that time. And it was very close source, and I found out just how, not close source, <laughs> close to the public. I found out just how close to the public it was. I couldn't, I would be at conferences. Um, I went to Open Source Summit, and people always ask me, what do you do? And I said, I used to work on OpenShift. And that's what I told me. And only two people, I, you know, those of you who have met me know this is the questions I asked. Only two people out of probably 800 people asked, what do you do now? Wow. And I said, oh, I can't tell you. So, but yeah, nobody asked. <laughs> so many people died and were killed. What? Oh, I, I didn't tell anybody. Oh, so nobody died? Nobody died. So I was, I was the main Eleven. person. Um, modules took the rest of our team. I was the main person, we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> I, I was wondering if you were going to get there. I was the main person actually doing this stuff. I had to fix all the Fedora packages that wouldn't build in RHEL, and I literally could not put 8 in my patches. So you have all sorts of, if RHEL is greater than 7, ah. oh, it can't be 8. That or explains it's the weird less than, Yeah, we couldn't do 8, and it was just like, we were at a conference, so you can't map. Yeah. <laughs> we were at a conference and we were told, and this is probably hearsay, but we took it as this, that so we couldn't say eight at the conference. It was like oh. four. Could you say okay, eight? eight? We could say something higher than seven or something lower than nine. Well, so you could say lower than nine. 
Yes, <laughs> we can say eight. Now, now we granted, have separate sentences. This, can't they might conjunction. not have actually said you can't say eight, but we sort of took it as a challenge. <laughs> oh, and then God. halfway through that conference, marketing oh, handed God. out these stickers. Oh, I remember those. I liked them. Yeah, okay, it's an infinity cool. symbol on its side. Yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, so this is this is how weird it got. Um, nobody could know that Red Hat was building eight. They they couldn't, even though. We were at a conference. I was I was building beta at a conference. At least fifty percent of the people knew I was building Red Hat Eight Beta, but I couldn't say anything. I always sat in the back of the room so that nobody could see my screen, which is always a good thing. Anyway, but anyway, it it got weird. It was just crazy. Um, at this point, this was the Relic pipeline. Things went from Fedora to Rel. The CentOS. Okay. And then 9 came. And it was like glorious. Woo! Why is this? Because Red, Hat part, Red Hat's partners got sick and tired of them doing this. Um, oh, yes. Uh, so I, so let's, look at the, let's look at the time frame. So this is 22. Uh, 19. So that's three years from 19. So look at this year's. 19 to 14, that was five years. 20, 10 to 14 was four years. Five to seven was two years. Or seven to 10, is, well, that was three years. Yeah, it was the, weird. It was weird, and Red Hat's partners were getting sick of it. it uh, I, since I have looked to say if Intel has publicly said that they're a Red Hat partner, so I'm going to use Intel as an example. If you're doing chips, and you got to have your chips come out with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You can't be going, when is it coming out? Because we got our chips coming. And uh, so, for RHEL 9, everything turned inside out. First thing was the schedule. They publicly said that they would do a three-year cycle <laughs> and a six-year cycle between every uh, minor release. And they've stuck to that, and they are continuing to stick to that for nine or, and the one, ten. The one I can actually say ten. Yeah, huh? the greater ten. than nine. The one that's coming, the one that's greater than nine. Sorry, yes. I can actually say ten. The artist formerly known as Fedora Yellen. Yep. We also. Relax. Re relax. <laughs> it will not be relax. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to show this really quick. This other thing happened. Is we're going to talk a little bit on the other side. Uh, CentOS Stream came in, and they wanted CentOS Stream to be the upstream of RHEL uh, instead of CentOS Linux being the downstream of RHEL. Mm -hmm. Now, we talked about that a long, long time. How are we going to do that? <coughs> and remember all those little if things that I had to do for RHEL 8? People listened, and I was so glad. So we started the ELN, Fedora ELN, because people realized when you're building Fedora, so let's go back. So remember that. We're going back here. Uh, Fedora ELN builds, is Fedora Rawhide is Fedora's uh, leading edge. It's the, the newest things. So when those packages get built, Fedora ELN builds the exact same package. It says, okay, this one's successfully built. I'm going to build it, but I'm going to use Red Hat's, the RHEL macros. So it's going to say RHEL instead of Fedora. Um, and uh, one or two other tags get done. And it's amazing how many things break when you do that. Um, because Fedora people just love putting if Fedora in their statements. And then when things start getting pulled into RHEL, it's like, well, why isn't this thing building on RHEL? So anyway, Fedora ELN does that so that when they put that if Fedora into their statement, they know immediately that uh, it, they broke something or it worked. Um, CentOS Stream was created. As I said earlier, I'm on the CentOS Stream uh, team that, that builds them. So we, we changed it. We, everything got flipped. CentOS is now in the front instead of the end. Um, so, but here's the thing. It looks like the important bits are still hidden. Yeah. Well, maybe Fedora ELN, that's still open, but CentOS Stream and RHEL 
you know, Centos had this history of being closed. Um, it, so, so this was created. <laughs> I'm going to go through this. Oh, boy. Uh, well, not in detail. <laughs> but this is actually the, the current RHEL workflow. And so what is it? That's the real work. So when we, when a, a Red Hat person does a, a code sync into, for a package, we're going to do, um, uh, what's a good one? Bash. I like Bash. So they, they I do like Bash. Don't give me those looks. Um, Something fun like Shim. Yeah. Oh, no. no. Anyway, so let's say the Bash maintainer wants to, to do a patch, to do an update. Uh, they, they check it in. They actually first have to have a, used to be Bugzilla, so this is a used slide. They now have to have a JIRA issue bug. Let's not dwell on that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but then they do their merge request. The merge request checks and says, do you have a bug? Yep, okay, I'm gonna merge it. And this is in the CentOS stream disk it. So this is totally, this is on GitLab. GitLab, blah, 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 slash CentOS, slash RPMs, and it gets that. And as soon as it syncs there, it immediately syncs internally to our internal GitLab. Um, so that everything behind here is actually be behind closed doors, but those two sync. If they don't sync, my team gets pinged, and we make sure it syncs. Now, Sinks. They say, okay, it's synced. I want to build it. So they build it on CentOS stream first, and much like Rawhide and Neolin, it then goes to Red Hat. Now, gating. So it, it builds first on CentOS stream, and then goes built on Red Hat. Gating is the other way around. Uh, it gets gated on Red Hat, and then uh, that unlocks the CentOS stream. So some of you might notice the gating is on this side of the firewall, or the thing. That is because there is some uh, partner-specific stuff with their tests. As much tests as possible uh, are actually in this disket area. If you look in packages like Bash, there's a directory called tests, and it's got the tests. Um, and it's, I'm not gonna say all of them are there, because like I said, there is some partner stuff uh, but the vast majority of them are in there. So you know what they're being tested on. Okay, so they're tested. Uh, successful rel verification. That's vague. It has to do with errata and stuff. It, it usually takes a second and moves on. So most people don't even see it. And here's where things separate. Uh, when we're doing composes, uh, rel has a... So for CentOS Stream, we have a nightly compose and a weekly compose. Uh, and I'm saying that loosely because we ran out of disk space. So now we have development composes are like three times a week and uh, production composes are uh, depending on which release twice a week. But as soon as a certain CentOS Stream 8 is moved off our disks, mm -hmm. we'll, have, we'll be able to have our nightly composes. <laughs> and we should be getting more disk space. But anyway, the CentOS stream compose uh, schedule and stuff is much different than the rel compose because they're looking at uh, six months or a uh, three year time frame, whereas we release ours once a week. So, so that's where it's a little bit different. And, but I can tell you what what's happening. I don't have to just say nothing behind the door. I can tell you what it is. If you want to know more details, I, I might not know it, but I, I will try to let you know. Oh, okay, that's fine, Nisty, but you can read that. What about the infrastructure? Is it still closed off? No. Well, so CentOS Linux what it was and still is. We still have CentOS <coughs> Linux 7. Uh, the, their infrastructure is closed off. I, I, you don't want it. I don't, I don't <laughs> want it, but I, maybe I could look at it, but I haven't tried. It's played, uh, the stuff from the old, before Koji. Yeah, Johnny's still building seven. 
Um, but Johnny's also on our team, so he's doing both. Um, but for the Central Stream, our motto is if we can make it public at all, make it public. And so the RPM sources, uh, I was going to do a screenshot, but it's like, you know what, it's GitLab. Hopefully you all have seen GitLab. Yeah. That's where it's at, the RPMs, the, the other stuff. <laughs> um, our Koji, uh, you probably all already seen Koji, but I wanted a screenshot of Koji. Our Koji is is open, so you'll see most of the things you can and you can take guesses is stream.centos.org, you know, slash Koji. So this is Koji Hub. Um, it's a little blurry right there. I wanted to see the show that there was ten, but you guys by this time everybody knows we're building ten. Um, the release engine release engineering code is public. All of our you can look at what's in comps. So hey, you want to know what's in the comps for rel 8 and rel 9 and rel 10? Go ahead and look at it. How are we do building our images? Go ahead and look at it. Um, rel engine tools, you can look at some of the scripts. Um, anyway, everything we're trying to do is, is, is public. Um, this is what I, I know Jenkins gives some of you heart attacks. It's a trigger word. It's a trigger word. Uh, but we okay. use it. I like it. Oh no, I said the word. I mean, you're not <laughs> running crazy plugins on it. That's where most of our trigger our oh, pain comes from. Oh, don't worry. I'm okay. good. I, a new mission for David Duncan. Ask <laughs> <laughs> for Jenkins questions until he cries. Oh, no. oh yes, no. let's do that. Let's not ask me Jenkins questions. Still time to put in a flock workshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but the it's at JenkinsStream.centos.org, and we've got all of our things. We have them actually also nicely organized. Um, so we have like little stream nine release, stream eight release. There nowadays there's a stream ten release. Um, and it shows the steps that we do. So we have, uh, it's now automated. We have an automated compose and automated testing. And then uh, we double check, make sure there's uh, nothing critical. Because every once in a while, you know, something critical comes in like right after we made a compose we, or something goes bad. And then we push. So this one is a manual push of the button. And then it just does all that stuff. So what is this? Oh, and here's our testing, which testing.stream.centos.org. It's easy to figure out. Um, for those of you that want to try and hack into all of these, just know that that's a, uh, what do you call that? The real stuff is actually behind proxy. the firewall proxy. It's behind the firewall. So if you try to log into this, you'll never be able to log into this because it's, it's not. It's just a front end. So you can look at everything and see everything. But no but, touching? But uh, no logging in. Oh. Yeah. How do you log in then? There's he's, a, he's behind. I'm the behind the firewall. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, we, we make it public, but it's not make it unsafe. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, <laughs> Um, so our composers are, are public. You can actually watch the composers as they're going along. Uh, we, we apologize about Stream 9 being named production as opposed to Stream 9. Uh, it was our first thing and you know, we got to wait five more years before it goes away. Can you add a thing like that? We have a, we have a directory for Stream 9 now. I yeah, there is a directory and it's been there for a while. And, oh. Uh, for oh no, it's so you can't stream like <clears throat> Yeah. Correct. We cannot simlink, and it's so. Anyway, but yeah, those of you, it. those of you who really care, have said that uh, a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> no. Carl George setting things up for for Apple is, has had a bug open for a long time, and we're like, yeah, yeah, that's probably we got four more years of this. Oh, so. yeah. Four more years. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, so am I? Am I at the end? Oh, and I'm like right at eleven thirty, right where I wanted. So, question and answers and raffle. So, let me. 
while while we do. Oh, shoot! Sorry. While we do questions and answers, I was wondering if somebody. Where did my raffle ticket go? So, there we are. This. Yeah. Can you? Just like we did yesterday. Um, take a, take a number, rip it in half. If you if if you actually don't want a penguin, you don't have to take one. So. I don't know somebody whose whose luggage is is tight. <laughs> I mean, I probably should, but I want a penguin anyway. You know, we said more like it. Oh, uh, you need to rip it in rip half. Rip it in half and put the yeah, one number the in the other bag. There we go. Come on, Joe. Give me better chances. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I took it and didn't put it in, then it's absolutely guaranteed I don't get one. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, any questions? But it's good for the rest of us. Yes, it's great for the rest of you. It's fine. <laughs> really? Not even from the the. I'll the head person. Half well, the meal is logged in. Yeah, I'm in. Logged into the Jenkins. Okay. You need to be angry about that logo for Jenkins. What's the URL? Where's your URL? Testing.stream.sentos.org. Oh, testing.stream.log.sentos.org. Yes. Okay. I'll have to ask about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just hit the login button because you said I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. That's my question. <laughs> well, it is the testing thing. Um, one of the things on the testing, I'm going to back up to that. Uh, All right, let's try Jenkins. Don't yeah, try, try Jenkins. Uh, I, oh, yeah. I actually can log into this one. Oh. Um, one of the things with the testing is we uh, are... This one redirects to OpenShift and then breaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, this, so that, one is, uh, that one is fine. The other one is not. It breaks from now. So just, so just, so you, just yeah. Yeah, for, exactly. for audiences, no, people, no. please don't break this. <laughs> You're the, let me more. get home and... and, uh, and then we can... <laughs> <laughs> <figure it out. laughs> yeah. um, one of the things, so we were... We, we are encouraging, and there's actually a CentOS stream SIG trying to do um, community testing. So yeah, if yes, somebody wants why. to do things, and we were trying, we were originally actually doing it on these, and then they kept breaking our tests, and we're like, so that's what this one is. There is our our it's standard all happy test. Right now. Oh, is it? Even, yeah. the, even the testing yeah. yeah. Oh, good. It's got, it's got uh, a sunshine okay. and happy faces and everything. Cool. Okay, so everybody's had a chance? Yeah, I have a question. Yes. So, on all the various projects, it might be a little off center, but which you created your Linux. What was the reason for creating it, and what did you aim to achieve with your version of it? Like, oh. What did you feature? Did you, like. Good, good questions, yes. I, I have an answer. So, the question, in case the microphone didn't pick it up, is. Your Linux, when I made your Linux, why did I make it? Uh, for three reasons. Uh, first is I was going nuts without making a, a distribution. Ooh. I just, I love yeah. making them. Cool. Um, uh, that's why I'm also the alternative images SIG person and all, just because I love doing it. Um, at the time, there was no ARM build. And oh. I actually built, yeah. beat CentOS Linux, even though they, we're doing it to <laughs> to an uh, arm build, nice. and I I I help them with uh, patches and stuff like that to do theirs. What was the other one? Did it uh, start with why? Because it's like yellow dog. It's like Linux RPM Linux for. Uh, oh, for why why your Linux was your own recompiled ah. Linux. Nice. And I like that it said your without being spelled correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That means it's trademarkable. Yeah. Yeah, if I want it. But sure, uh, but that's how, that's how you get a trademark. You spell the word wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I have had since I've speakers. done that. I have had a couple people try to uh, buy that domain name from me. Oh. And uh, I always think, you know what? Somebody's trying to be sneaky. So I haven't sold it. <laughs> Were you here for the drawing? Uh, me? Yeah. No, I was not here. For the oh, okay. You're just in time for your question and answers. Do you want to be in the drawing? No, I was okay. Okay, okay for the drawing, and it's pick whichever penguin you want. Uh, so whoever goes first gets the first pick. So we'll, we'll, awesome. let's see. Uh, Two thirty-one. Woo! Cool. Come on, man. <laughs> um, any other questions while he's giving up? Yes. 
all your, your testing suite, you said you had testing inside each of the repositories in your in the disk kit. Do you have testing a testing suite outside of that? And is that open? Um or testing suite or oh, like what, testing what do they do? Uh, I'm not the best person to ask for the avocado. Testing suite. avocado. Are avocado. we using avocado? Yeah. You're using avocado, you're still using beaker. Whichever one you want. Even the big one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good about <laughs> taking it. Feel good about I I, I <laughs> I not only don't want to take them home, uh, I, I have an office full of these penguins. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just keep you, so you guys have seen me in conference calls. You notice there's a, a curtain behind there. Oh, that's, that's all. Oh. Those, that is full those of penguins. Old, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So they all, that's a lot of penguins. Us. Yeah. Okay. The penguins. I always wondered if he was watching you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 217. Ah. Oh. Our Vancouver, Washington person. Not Sorry, I just. Other Vancouver. Other Vancouver. Yeah. Oops. The BC one. Wait. The non BC one. The non BC. No, oh, it's Vancouver, you Washington. Know. You were the first person I've ever met that's from. Non BC? Vancouver. Yeah, the non BC. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 203. That's me? Whoa. What? Whoa. Goblet of Winds. Okay. Oh, there. Well, yeah, that would have been quite well. Oh, nice one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two. There is some smaller ones if you need. I, I know you're gonna. Just think of uh, what's gonna fit in your suitcase. Oh, I, I'll trust you, even if you, even if you're lying to me. Okay. Two, two, nine. Go for it. I'm trying to remember you are from the Seattle? Yes. Okay. How many more do we got? Two more. Two more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two one more. One more. After one more. Okay, last one. Oh, that would be one of the small ones. They, they go good in the small suitcases. Yeah. <laughs> 258. Well, there we go. And it'll. Wait. I've never worn anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore? All right. That's fair. I will get plenty of chances if Troy does this again. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Um, any more questions before we uh, close up? Uh, so, you mentioned a few slides back about, um, what was it, with the uh, with rel, with this, with this, right? Um, how can you tel when how they're being? How can you see how they're used? Like these release engineering repos, like oh. the comps and the kickstarts and things like that. Hmm. Yeah. That that's has always a, kind of bugged me. That's a good question. Yeah, because like I've looked at some of the stuff before. It's like I don't know how they're used. That's a good question. Uh, nobody has an asked that question, and. I mean, I know how they're being used because uh, yeah, that's why I know the build stuff. Yeah. Write it up um, somewhere. What? Write it up somewhere. It'd be yeah, useful just, to have it. Yeah, just, yeah. just go ahead and document Fungi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. No, no, no. <laughs> I think I would have really liked to have documentation for Fungi. So, that's yeah, for sure. I, I'm missing the slash Fungi thing there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much you read the Fungi comps and it says, okay, Go here for the kickstarts, go here for the comps. Uh, I, I will tell you, Relange Tools is majority Jenkins stuff. Okay. Um, and that's if we, if we have, if we need a Jenkins script or all that stuff, it's in the Relange Tools. And we've even had the Valgrind stuff, uh, we had somebody gave us the whole Valgrind stuff. It's pretty accurate except for a few uh, variable problems. So within the release engineering subproject repos, does that also include the the stuff used to stand up the infrastructure? No, um, that's Fabian's realm, and he. Uh, how much of his stuff is is open and not? I don't know, because I told I said before that it was behind closed doors, and somebody did what you did, and he just went. Oh, here it is. Um, but it's it's in infrastructure. Uh, CentOS stream in the on the Red Hat CentOS stream, and the, there is an infrastructure thing. And if you can see it and get it into it, 
then it will, then it is open. If you cannot, I have a very bad feeling. <laughs> then it's not. We've we've also had people ping us or ding us because we're a little too open, and they've had us lock things down. And it wasn't Red Hat pinging us; it was outside people saying, "Hey, hey. hey uh, this is a little too open." And we're like, "Okay, we will uh, lock it down." Uh, and we had security. How can we lock it down with, while doing things? Yeah. So infrastructure is one that, for me, is fuzzy. Yeah. Can I don't. I don't see. I don't see that much about the infrastructure stuff in the in the CentOS stream GitLab group. There's some script things, but there's a very weird Red Hat CentOS stream slash temp. Yeah, that oh. one's um, odd. Which I have noticed I have, now, and I have no idea what it is. It looks I, like. Random repos with tests. Could be. I didn't do it. Uh, well, I I mean, don't it's called it. temporary and it's been there for years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there for years, yes. Because yeah. no one has the permission <laughs> to delete it. That's a, that could be. Um, it's very yeah. random. Okay, yeah. well, just poke around, but uh, that, that's a good question nobody's actually asked me, so I've never even thought of documenting where, how to use each of those things. Yeah. But majority of it is go to, this is, this is for Jenkins, majority of kickstart comps and stuff, go to Pungy and it will say, grab this kickstart from this GitLab repo, or grab this comps from this repo. And if you're into pain, yeah, you can read through all that code, which I <laughs> 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 If I had a for Jenkins. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Okay. Well, thank you all for coming and